Hello everybody, welcome to the video, my name is Crypt and welcome to the first episode of this series which is called Quick Devs, okay, so Quick Developments, okay. In this new series, I'm going to be quickly teaching you guys how to code specific, um, how to make specific functions or add functionality to your applications, okay. So in this specific video, we're going to be talking about mouse movement, specifically relative mouse movement. So I'm going to show you guys a few ways in which you can move your mouse relative. Okay. Some of the ways are very well known and all the ways are a little more obscure. Okay. And I'm going to be talking about when you're going to use this type of movement and what works for games or what works for different things they might be doing. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about Win32 API. Win32 API is very used. Okay. Simply how to move your mouse is very simple. You're going to first import Win32 API. Just like so okay if you want to in, if you want to actually um install win32 api then you're gonna simply type that uh command that you're seeing on the screen right now okay and then you're gonna type it on your cmd or you're gonna actually just install it on your ide okay and then you're gonna do win32 api dot mouse mouse event okay just like so okay 0x0001 zero 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 so three zeros x the x you want to move to the y you want to move to and the zero zero so the, remember the X and the Y is a relative position. Okay. And then, so let's do this right now. So let's try it out. So here we're going to call it. We're going to do win 32 movement. And then we're going to do 10 and 10, which means that we're going to move in 10 to the right and 10 downwards. Okay, so let's execute this code. And there you go. You already did it. Okay. Let me change it to hundred so you guys can see it. There you go. Okay. Remember something to keep in mind is that the top left of your screen is a position zero, zero. And the bottom right of the screen is however big your monitor is. So if you ever want to know what values this should be, if you change to a negative 100, it's going to move to the left because it's closer to the zero, zero position. And if you change it to negative 100, well, the second one to negative 100, so the Y to negative 100, it's going to go upwards because it's closer to negative to, to zero, zero. Okay. So let's try that right now. There you go. Okay. The next one is C types. Now C types, the specific use of C types over here. It's also going to use Win32 API. Okay. However, it does in a more obscure way. So it's a little more safe in some scenarios. Okay. And of course we're going to be using C types. Actually, this should be called Win32 API. We're going to be calling Win32 API again to move a mouse. It's also limited platforms. Uh, you can use it in some platforms, but not a lot. By platforms, I mean OS. Okay. Um, anyway, so we're going to do C types dot window DLL dot user 32 mouse event. Same thing as the other one. So everything else is the same thing. So this should be the same. Okay. And then it's going to move. So let's try it out. C types movement over here. Okay. Let's move it. So this is going to move what? Downwards into the right. Correct. So let's execute this. There you go. Okay. If I want to move upwards 100, but still move to the right, I just change it to negative 100. And it's going to move up into the right. So let's try it out. There you go. Okay. Um, cool. So now we have Pi Auto Game. Priority is quite the same thing. However, it does not call Win32 API, which is a little safer in most scenarios. Okay. So basically what you're going to be doing is we're going to move in the mouse without Win32 API. It is cross-platform, so you can use it in multiple different OS. And the security of it depends on how well it is used. Okay. Anyway, so over here we have move relative X and Y, which we're passing the parameters. Okay. Let's try it out. There you go. Now, Pyrogi has some really cool functionality, such as duration, as you can put over there. So let's do duration over here, equals to two, which means it's going to take two seconds to move to this relative position. So based on where we are, it's going to take two seconds to move 100 down and 100 to the right. So as you can see, there you go, two seconds. You can also do, you can also lower this value, increase this value to like 10 seconds, for example. So it's going to take forever now to move to that specific position. Now, if you're ever stuck like I am, you can also just throw your mouse to the top left of the screen and that's gonna, there you go. That's gonna trigger the fail safe. So for example, if you, you mess up, right? Using Pyrogi and you're stuck, you can just use the fail safe, which means you can just really throw your mouse to the top left of the screen, just like so, okay? And it's gonna trigger if you do it fast enough. Anyways, now um, let's, the best way to use Pyrogi is to use a randomization. So how to do this? You're gonna import random. Then you're gonna come over here, random.uniform, okay, 0.5 to 2. 
This means that now it's going to be randomized. So it's going to take either 0.5 to 2. Okay. Not either. It's going to take between 0.5 to 2 seconds random. Okay. Uh, to get to that position. So let's try it out right now. There you go. That was quite quick. Let's try it out one more time. It's kind of the same thing. Let's try it out again. It's a little faster now. So it's random. Okay. So it can be any random volume. Okay. There you go. All right. So that's actually a better way of using it. Now let's talk about the less and the most important thing, which is how do we use these to get to a specific position in the screen? So now let's say you're playing a game, right? An FPS game. FPS game, what happens is when you when you open that game, game and the game is in full screen, it gets your mouse, it keeps your mouse stuck in the middle of the screen. Okay, so your mouse is always stuck in the middle of the screen, which is the middle of your monitor. Okay, and to know the middle of a monitor is actually very simple. All you need to know is the size of a monitor. So if your monitor is a 920, 1920, sorry, uh, by 1080, which is mine, all you have to do is divide that by two, which you get 19, which you get 960, and then you divide this by two, you get 540. Okay, just like so. Okay. Now, if you want to do this dynamically using code, you can also do middle X, middle Y, just like so. Win32 API, get system metrics zero. Okay, round it up when you divide it. Same thing here get system metrics one and then you round it up as you divide it okay this means you're going to divide and you're going to round it okay that's going to give you so this is going to be 960 540 these two variables over here okay so just keep that in mind and now with that in mind well, now we have the middle of a screen right now let's say we want to get your target so now let's say you have the position of a target right in the game or whatever you want to target x uh for example i'm going to do a thousand and then let's do target x and target y target y thousand thousand this means that we have the middle of a screen and we have the target position you always have to have your target position okay so now that we have these two things you can actually just subtract get the difference between them and that's going to move it relative to that so let's use win32 api as an example so how do you do this well all you have to do here is change these two things so you're going to change this x to target x minus middle x and then you want to do target y minus middle y just like so, okay? And this is gonna subtract this two, subtract this two, and that's gonna move the mouse to that position, okay? Now, I'm just gonna do something real quick. Remember, if you're inside of a game, your mouse is always gonna be in the middle of the screen. So let me just real quick use PyroD to move the mouse to the middle of the screen, just like so. And then as soon as we have done that, we're gonna wait for a second so that you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? This is only so you guys can see um, how to move the mouse to a specific position. Now let's do win32 movement because that's a function that I changed. Okay. And let's try it out. So let's execute this. I went to the middle of the screen and then I went downwards to a thousand, a thousand, just like so. Again, middle of the screen. Then I went downwards to a thousand and a thousand. Okay. So let's say the enemy is very close to the middle of the screen. Okay. Such so as 965 to 545, which means that like, you know, my mouse cursor is here. The enemy is like right there but I want to move towards that position, for example, or the enemy or the object, whatever it is, right? You can just execute this code, change this up, execute this code, and it's going to move your mouse. There you go. Just a little bit, right? Because you just had to move a little bit to get to that position. Okay. Let's say the enemy is at a thousand X, but um, still kind of like in the same Y-ish. So we're going to move to that position again. There you go. Okay. That's how this works. It's very straightforward, very simple. Okay. And of course, if you're confused on how to implement this, what I just implemented, this relative movement to a specific target, you just have to copy this and put it into every other line. So, for example, over here, let's say you want to use it with C types. Just do target X minus middle X. Same thing. And then over here, for the Y, target Y minus middle Y. Same thing. Let's say you want to do a power game. Same thing. Target X minus middle X. And then target Y. Oops, sorry. Target Y. Minus middle y. Same thing. Okay. So that's how you can do this. And I can just call this all the functions and it's going to be the same thing. Except with power um, movement, I have this duration over here, which is actually going to make it even better because it's going to add a little bit of a randomization on how, I, how fast I get there. Let's try it out right now. There you go. There's a little randomization on how quick I can get there. Okay. The only issue with power is that it keeps your mouse stuck. So I cannot move my mouse as I'm doing this. Okay. I cannot move my mouse downwards or upwards as I'm doing this. That's the only problem with Power Rookie. That's the reason why many people don't like to use it while using doing things in game. 
I'm going to be teaching you guys in the next video how to use uh, interception driver, which is a very famous driver now that you can utilize to move your mouse to a specific place in the screen in a safe way. Use the don't forget to subscribe, give you a like, check my website out, okay? And go to join my Discord if you have any questions about this code, okay? You can find this code on my Discord server, okay? So just make sure you go to my Discord server and then you go to the um, required tutorials, okay? The tutorials page, it's going to be right there, all right? Thank you for watching.